We are in the town of Angong, just south of the city of Nairobi in Kenya. And this is close to the edge of the Great Rift Valley. This new market has just been opened and as you can see, it's surprisingly clean. And that's in part due to the work of this man, Dominic Wanjihia, my brother. In most towns of Kenya, the garbage collects and skips and on roadsides and it just piles up into these mini mountains that end up in the landfill. But something special is happening in Ngong. If you go to the market, walk outside and go around the back. What you'll see is quite surprising. Something that you're going to wish you saw in every market, in every town of Kenya. Yup, you guessed it, they're collecting all of the waste from the city market and they're taking it to a place where it's being processed, not as waste, but as a resource for several new clever industries. Dominic runs a company called Biogas International, which has gone into an agreement with Ngong Town to clean up the city market and eliminate their landfill completely. I think it's the first town in all of Kenya to take such an ambitious step. So this is the mouth of the biogas plant. This is where all the feed goes in. Um, you know, God gave us teeth to chew by food before you swallow it so that's the grinding machine you chew the food it goes down the pipe down the throat and into uh, the digester that's chamber one these digesters are multi-stage digesters and there are seven stages on um, each of these they're both 50 cubic meter uh, digesters each so if you come down here so all of this um, is gas that's building up biogas that's, that's building up in all of the balloons. Um, these systems have the capacity to produce about 40 to 50,000 liters of gas each per day, which is about, in total, about three, three LPG cylinders uh, per day. We pump biofertilizer, which is being produced here, all the way to the tank on the platform over there. And then from there, gravity feeds down into containers where we sell it as a liquid fertilizer. So it's a liquid fertilizer. It's also a fantastic insect repellent for, for cash crops. So what comes out of the market um, is about 80% of it is organic. And in the organic, there's two types of organic. There is the, um, the fruit and the vegetables that are very, very easily dissolved, digested in the biogas plants. And then there is the very, very fibrous stuff, which is mainly uh, in this Ngong market um, case, it's banana leaf that comes uh, it wrap, wrapping, wrapping around or packaging for the bananas in the delivery trucks. And there's tons of it that come. So it's about 50% of the total uh, biomass waste is banana leaf. Wow. So it would take forever because of the high lignin uh, um, volumes, it'll take forever to digest in the digester. So you'd need multiple digesters and it's too expensive. So we've opted to go the compost route for this. So we will, we're will we composting all of the uh, banana leaves. So 
So vegetable waste turns into biogas and liquid fertilizer, banana leaves is turned into compost, and all the other waste, the glass, the metals and the plastics are recycled. Anything that can't be recycled is put into the incinerator. And what comes out is ash. And that ash is going to be turned into bricks for construction purposes. Now that is a circular economy. At the end of the day, Michael and his colleague Nyawira finish it off with a cup of tea cooked on biogas. Anyone who lives in Nairobi knows that Ngong is famous for its many windmills that power the city with green energy. Very few people know about this amazing green clean technology that is being used in Ngong town to clean up the new marketplace and provide not just energy, but a source of nutrients for healthy food for the people of Ngong. <laughs>